Although it'll probably be my fault if it goes wrong anyway, let's face it. I want to have a go at pressing my own mugs. brand new studio vlog I hope you're all doing really well today's vlog is going to be a day in the life and as you've seen I've walked out just this morning did a little dance workout which I've started doing recently and oh my gosh I feel so much better for it just getting my body moving in the morning it really does make such a difference I know people say it all the time but it does like it just sets me up for the day and it just feels so good so I've been doing these like dance workouts by a woman called mad fit on YouTube she has quite a lot of them and I've made like a playlist and I go through and do a different one each morning but I did that and then made myself some breakfast had a shower got ready and now I've just sat down in my office I've got my coffee and I'm ready for the day we're gonna start the day today by packing some Etsy orders I've currently got 24 open Etsy orders they don't all need to go out today though I've actually caught up with them and the ones that are remaining aren't due to dispatch until tomorrow but I'm gonna get some of them done today and I'm gonna bring you along with me so we can pack some of those and I also have one Shopify order to pack from Danielle so we're gonna pack that together too I then need to add some new products to my fair so my wholesale platform because I really want to get better at kind of keeping up to date with that because I kind of just neglect it a little bit and I do really want to start getting back into selling wholesale. I've not had any orders yet since I opened my fair shop but I'm hoping that will change soon and if I add some of the new products like my new magnetic bookmarks and stickers then hopefully that might change, we'll see. So I need to update my fair a little bit so I'm going to do that today and I also want to have a go at pressing my own mugs. So my self love juice design that you've seen across quite a few products now I'll put a little picture on screen but my self love juice box design I want to put that onto a mug and I have some mugs that have been delivered with pink handles and a pink inner and I've also really kindly been sent the HTV Ron Auto Tumblr Press so we're gonna try that as well in a little bit but we'll talk a bit more about that a bit later on so yeah let's start the day and get some orders packed Last night you caught my eye So fly, oh my, oh my I've been thinking about you all night I can't get you off my mind I'm out, I'm deep water It's too late, I've crossed the border I'm busy hard by Cupid Bay Hurry, I need to be safe Hurry with all the cliché
keep out of range Try me on any direction I'll follow you Don't wanna wait another day And miss out on your sweet selection Tell Cupid stay Ask him to stay And I will clear the way are now all packed so that's really good i can now move on with the next task for today which is to get some new products up on fair so as you guys know if you've watched the past couple of studio vlogs we've got a couple of new bookish stickers which you'll have seen me packing in some of those orders actually the books on my jam sticker and the library court library quad library card sticker and i turned those into magnetic bookmarks in last week's vlog but i told you i would update you when they're on the shop and they are now available on the shop so we've got the books on my jam magnetic bookmark which is like this and then we have the library card bookmark which looks like this. So with this one, I just changed the backing card slightly so that it fit on there a bit better and I made the magnetic bookmark a bit longer. I wanted to keep it this way round. I had a couple of suggestions to turn the magnetic bookmark so that it was like the other orientation, but I don't know, I feel like I wanted it this way just so that when it's there in your book, you can see the design fully and it's readable and you don't have to like turn your head to read it if you know what I mean. So these are now up on my Shopify website and on Etsy and I now want to get them up on my fair along with the matching stickers. So I want to add these four products onto my fair shop so I'm going to do that now. So I'll turn you around while I just work away on my computer for a little bit and then I'll catch up with you again once they're all up on fair. <laughs> bookish magnetic bookmarks and stickers and I'm all on fair which is amazing I feel really good about that and I'm manifesting that I will hopefully get an order on there soon so I opened my fair shop up about two months ago I had been on there previously but I closed it down for a while when I wasn't doing wholesale orders but recently I've decided I would like to start doing wholesale orders again so I opened it back up a couple of months ago but I've not had any orders yet so I just need to make sure I keep updating it like I have done just then and hopefully, fingers crossed, I will get wholesale orders soon. But I really just need to work on promoting it more now and making sure people know that I do actually sell wholesale because I feel like I don't talk about it a lot and a lot of people might not know that I do wholesale orders. So that leads us perfectly onto today's sponsors for this week's studio vlog, Porkbun. So Porkbun is a domain registrar service and I've recently secured a .bio domain for my business with Porkbun for my link in bio page on Instagram. With my business being solely online, connection is everything. Content creators, influencers, brands, entrepreneurs, they all need to engage with their audience and share their online identity. And one of the best ways to do that is with a .bio domain. So I was previously using Linktree for my Instagram bio link and although a lot of other small business owners and content creators would recognise Linktree, a lot of people wouldn't and it wouldn't be clear what that actually is to most people. So using a .bio domain for your link in bio page lets you manage all your links in one spot with a custom domain name that tells people exactly who you are. For example, mine is simply princebymillie.bio. This link then directs people to view your work, engage with your content, visit your online store and so much more. A .bio domain is short, memorable and professional and if you scan the QR code that you can see on the screen right now or use the link down in the description of this video, you can get your own .bio domain name for less than $3 which works out at about £2.40 with pork bun. It's such good value for money and such an affordable way to get that professional link in your bio so thank you so much to pork 
Ireland for sponsoring today's video and please make sure you check them out and secure your .bio domain name if you too want a really accessible, clear way to share all your links with your audience. So now that those products are on fair, it's now time to get on with the next task for today, which is to test sublimating some mugs, which I've never done before in my life. So if it goes horribly wrong, you guys are here with me and you can witness it. And if it goes right, then that's incredible. I will be very impressed with this heat press if it goes right first time although it'll probably be my fault if it goes wrong anyway let's face it so i have ordered some mugs to test this design out on so like i said earlier i'm going to be doing the self-love juice design and i'm going to try it on these mugs here so they have a lovely pink handle and they're pink inside as well and then we'll have the self-love juice box here and one on the back as well so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure like how high this mug actually is and then work out how big I want the design to be get the files all ready for that so I will do that now and show you the process of that once I've got the files already so I'm just doing this on Canva at the minute because that's what's easiest for me and I've sized this to 7.5 centimeters in height because that's what I've measured that the design needs to be, I think. <laughs> so I'm just gonna flip it horizontally so that the design is mirrored so that when it's pressed onto the mug, the writing will be readable. And then I'm just gonna copy and paste this and see how many I can fit per page. So I think I should be able to fit at least six, if not maybe even nine of these, if I just keep copying and pasting them. nine there we go so i can get about four and a half mugs per sheet so i'll just need to print two sheets of these and i'd be able to get nine mugs which is really good so i'm just going to print this and then i'll show you what it looks like when it's printed <laughs> This is going to be literally the perfect size. Don't know how I managed that, but we're rolling with it. I'm going to tape the designs now onto the mug and check what heat settings I need for the press and then we'll press them. So I'm just going to do one side for now as a kind of test. So I don't want to do both sides yet. I want to press this one so that if it doesn't come out perfectly, I can then test it again on the other side rather than just wasting two transfers in case I don't get the settings quite right, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to tape this one down for now. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to try this guys. So I've really kindly been sent the Loclick or Loclick, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, auto tumbler heat press. So this is like a sub brand of HTV Ron and they do it in this lovely minty green color or white. So I chose white just cause it goes with my office a little bit better. But how gorgeous is this green color? I love it. I've just plugged it in for the very first time, but you can do mugs and glass tumblers and loads of stuff like that. So it's various tumblers and mugs cause it is an auto press. So it'll adjust to the size of your products. I've just had a little look at the settings for these mugs that I ordered and it says 180 seconds at 180 degrees celsius but I think this is in fahrenheit at the minute yeah it is so I'm going to click the temperature button and I'm going to set it to 360 ish because then that works out at about 180 degrees Celsius. And for the time, it wants it at 180 seconds as well. So I'm just gonna click this little timer button and change that to 180. So now that's set at the temperature and timer one, I'm just gonna leave it until this button flashes green and then I know that it's up to temperature. So it's now all heated up because we've got the green light here. I'm just gonna take the mug and it says to put it in this way and you just kind of slide it 
on this side I should really be wearing my gloves but I forgot and I'm just going to put it in and then I'm just going to click the go button and see what happens so you can see it's like really tight in there and it will just continue to count down until it's ready also you get sent these gloves and some sublimation heat transfer tape as well so i'm going to pop these on ready for taking the mug out gosh guys how cute is that i've put it a bit too low down so i need to move it up a little bit higher so that there's less of a gap at the top but that is so cute i love it i think ideally i'd like the color of the juice box to be a bit more pink rather than peachy i don't know if you can see that very well on camera so i might see if i can just tweak the settings slightly so that this is more pink than peach but I think that's so cute and it will obviously be double sided um, so I might do another test this side now and just move it up slightly so that it's not as low down although I think for a first attempt that's come out really well it's really hot at the minute so I'm just going to put it down to cool a little bit but yeah let me know what you think there's a little mark as well here I don't know if you can see it on camera tiny mark don't know where that's come from it might have just been an ink smudge on the sublimation sheet we'll see the mug press is so easy to use as well i literally just put it in and it just automatically presses to the shape of it and then it counts down and then it tells you it's done you take it out and then you've got this i'm just so impressed with it i think i'm gonna try some glass tumblers at some point as well or plastic tumblers like for iced coffees and stuff but that is so cute it's now one o'clock and I've just joined, well I say just, about 15 minutes ago I've joined Emily Harvey Art's um, Zoom call because I'm one of her patrons and basically people have given links to their own websites and she's looking through them with them and giving feedback and we're adding like feedback in the comments and stuff and it's so helpful like I've not sent a link to my website because I thought I was a bit late when I realised that this Zoom call was happening but if she ever does another one i definitely think i will because i'm getting so much useful information just from people discussing other people's websites and like navigating them and yeah i'm just getting some really good ideas so maybe i'll be updating my website kind of a little bit after this we'll see not today i'm just gonna sit down and watch the rest of this because it's really valuable i might just grab some lunch and have a cup of tea and watch this and then i'll catch up with you again after this is finished. And because you'll know how to do it because you've done it. Yeah. never been on the website before. I don't know. Um, what travel rooms are, you know, like how they you know. Emily Harvey's Zoom call finished at 2pm and since then I've made a head start on prepping tea for me and Lewis. We're doing chicken koftas tonight with lemon roast potatoes and a little like Greek salad. So I prepped the salad ready for later. Lewis will be home about half three and I usually stop working them for a little bit and then I'll pick up again later. But since I last spoke to you I made the salad and I've also started editing this vlog as well. I've got a head start on that too. So once we've eaten later on I'm going to spend the rest of the day 
day this evening editing this vlog so I can hopefully get it up for you within the next couple of days but I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching I'm so grateful to have you here and for joining me on my little small business journey I hope you enjoy these vlogs if you do please give it a thumbs up so that I know you're enjoying them and it helps push them out to other people who like this kind of content too and if you're not yet subscribed please do because I upload vlogs like this every week to this channel so it just ensures that you won't miss a video thanks so much again to pork bun for sponsoring this week's studio vlog i'm so grateful i love their service so much so definitely remember to check those out in the description as well and i'm gonna love you and leave you for today and hopefully i'll see you very soon in the next video bye guys <music>